What's going on, y'all? I'm Frank. Welcome back to the channel. So, this is a video that over the past three or four days, I've been debating whether to do it or not, right? Because I don't like to put just any type of information out there, right? Um, and you'll see what I mean when I get to, when I get to, you know, talking about the topic, right? So I don't like to put anything out there that I don't know um, isn't 100% factual, right? Um, I have to know and believe that what I'm saying is the truth. I'm not just going to put some bullshit out there. Um, that's not me. I never have. I never will. Nothing, nothing, any video that I've ever put out there, believe me. Um, I've had some type of proof to put it out there. I just might not put the proof out to y'all, but I have the proof. Okay. Um, so let me get right to it. All right. This is about Damien. Damien Fitzgerald. This is the brother that in the video, I'm going to put his clip up here right now. Right. And I'm going to link his interview in the description to this so you could see it. Damien Fitzgerald, he's the brother that had in the in the thumbnail, he had his face all scratched up. Um, he said it was, you know, he had a seizure and he was all busted up, right? So, son, let me see, today's Wednesday, Saturday, I get a message from my friend that lives in Philly. And she tells me, somebody told me to relay a message to you that Damien has passed away. Right? So I said, okay, is it credible? Do you know this person? She went on to tell me that it's somebody um, that she knows. They go to the same clinic. And the person told them, yo, I know you're friends with Frank. Can you please let Frank know that Damien passed away the other day? right um so then I, I I also seen it in a couple of the comments right but we've had that happen before where somebody's trolling and they say oh such and such passed away such and such passed away right so that was when I seen it in the comments that was two different sources of information against the green Hi, is this Frank? Speaking. Hi, Frank. My name is Nicole. I am Damien Fitzpatrick's cousin. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to tell you that they found him. He passed away. Uh, yo, this is so crazy. I'm literally just doing a video on him right now. Really? I sw Listen, you're, you're in the video right now. I, I thought it was a, like, I'm doing it in my car as I'm driving. And I heard numerous people told me that he passed away. I went to Philly yesterday to check for myself. And everybody that I spoke to told me that he passed away. But I didn't want to put the information out there without being totally convinced that it's true. And then you happen to call right in the middle of the fucking... You're going to see this video. It's crazy. Oh, wow. What, yeah. what, what happened? Um, well, they said... Um he overdosed. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, and by the time they found him, it was um, too late. He was brain dead. So they had him on life support for three days in the hospital. And, um, he, you know, there was nothing they can do. His brain was done. So they got a, They were trying to get a hold of his family, any of us, and somehow they got a hold of my cousin. And um, they called her, and she told him to go ahead and just pull the plug because there was nothing they can do. He was done. His brain was done. They, by the time they got to him, it was too late. There's nothing anybody could do. Listen, so I, I've had numerous people tell me this. So I, I went, literally went to Philly yesterday and I was like, I'm going to find out if this is true. And I spoke to like four different people, different occasions and asked them. And they were all people that, I, that I've seen with Damien before. And they all told me the same thing. Oh yeah. my God. I'm so sorry for your loss, man. Thanks. 
So I'm going to see what we can do. Um, I'm trying to get all of my cousin now. She might be working. Uh -huh. What she wants to do for him, you know, have, maybe put up a GoFundMe yep. or uh something. So we have a little get-together, um, little funeral or something for him. Let me know. Um, if you guys decide to do a GoFundMe, please let me know. Because I'll yeah, let the, the channel know. And I'm sure there's people that are going to want to contribute. He, he actually had... There was a woman from Canada that, yeah, I've seen that. listen, I've seen that. literally, she sent me a hundred dollars before and was like, yo, here, just give it to him a little bit at a time. Please don't give him enough so he can go and get hot, you know, just sort of feed him. And that's what I would do. And then she, she reached out to me, um, about two days ago and asked, yo, have you heard from Damien? And there was like four people that did. And I'm assuming it's because they heard the rumor and I, I felt bad like ignoring people. I was like, damn, should I say something? And then literally just this morning, I was like, man, I think I have enough information to put this out. This is so ironic. Yeah. I'm so yeah. fucking Everything you've done for him. You know, I was just watching your video yesterday, you and your wife on vacation. Yeah. Watch your, all your videos, yeah, and everything you did for, for everybody out there. Thank you so much. Yeah, no You're problem, awesome. man. I, I just remember where I came from. You know, that, that was me right. not too long ago. Yep, me too. I've been clean for six years, so. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Um, yeah. Can, can you please text me your, your name just so I can yeah. lock you on my phone to keep in contact? And yeah. if you decide to set up a GoFundMe, please let me know right away and um, so that I can, you know, help to, to generate some income there also. Okay. All okay. right. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, is this your phone number? Can I yeah. lock it in? Yep. This is mine. Okay. Um, All righty. Please relay call. the message to your family that I, I send my condolences. Okay. I sure will. All right. And, and have okay. a good day, Nicole. I'm sorry for your loss. You too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You see how crazy that is? Listen, some people are going to be like, yo, that was planned. That had to be planned. Um, I swear on my life, I swear on my children, that was not planned whatsoever. So, wow. So there's... Unfortunately, there's confirmation that Damien passed away. Um, I hope that the recording caught caught what she said. So she said they found them overdosed, and he was gone for um, enough time that he was basically brain dead. They put him on life support. And then they decided to pull the plug a couple days later. Um, wow. So. Wow. Man. I know there's people that are going to see this video and um, are going to be touched more than others. Man, this is sad. Hopefully, if, if they decide to do a, a GoFundMe, I will 100% let everybody know. Um, this is sad, man. And I, I have a couple interviews with Damien that I that I didn't put out. Um, that I have that, that I will put out here, um, you know, within the next week or so. Man, look at this. It's... it's is just a testament and a sign to show us that when we live that lifestyle, um, we are on borrowed time. And I say that all the time. When we're in the streets, when we're getting high, when we're in a drug game, any type of way, we're living on borrowed time. Now it's just dependent where we're borrowing that time. Some of us are gonna borrow that time from ourselves, right? Meaning that we're just cutting our life short we're wasting our life away. Some of us are going to borrow that time from the penitentiary, meaning that we're going to go to the penitentiary. We just aren't there yet, right? And then some of us are borrowing that time from death, right? That we're just on borrowed time. Um, and 
what we're doing is just sort of inching us closer and closer uh, to death. Eventually, listen, you play Russian roulette long enough, you're going to lose. It's a fact. You play in them streets long enough, you're going to lose. And I hate to say this, and I hate when people say it. That's why I hate to say it is, you know, when somebody passes and be like, oh, they're not in pain anymore. They're in a good place now. You know, and I hate to say it because it's true, right? It's true. When we're in the streets, when we're having addiction, when we have mental health issues, that shit is horrible. It's so taxing. It's so weighing. It's so unnerving. It's just not a good feeling. And to say that death is the only thing that takes that away is crazy. When you think about it, that's absolutely crazy. Um, and, and I hate to say it because... It doesn't have to be that way. You know, it, it doesn't have to be that way for all of us. Some of us, you know, there's some people that we all know. I'm one of those people that in my past, I wouldn't learn from other people's mistakes. I had to learn from my own mistake. There's a lot of people out there like that also. They don't learn from other people's mistakes. They learn from their own. You could tell them all day that stove is hot. They're not going to learn until they have third degree, hand, third degree burns on their hand. So, wow. Um, so I, I, damn, man. I, I ask you guys to, to keep his family in prayer. Um, you know, that, that's not the phone call that anybody wants to get. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end this here, man. Um. Remember to be kind, loving, and patient. And for anybody out there that's dealing with an addiction, playing in them streets, man, we are on borrowed time. Please believe that. We are 100% on borrowed time. So for what it's worth, you know, you got to make some changes. Thank you. Have a good day, y'all. Gotta give him some rest, dude.